you want to speak on uh, that brother, the RIP, the rest in power, the uh, brother Nazim Richardson, man, he just passed a uh, couple of days ago. And, you know, we we, we want to make sure we give him his uh, his praise, you know. And, um, let my let, let brother Jay speak on it first, and I'll come behind him and you know just give his man his proper his proper due. He's been a he's been a great great uh a great figure in the sport of boxing, man. He got a lot of points, a lot of things he's done. Um, Jay, you Jay, go ahead and um, speak. Yeah, man, it's it's I know he had been battling something even back with uh B Hop. And so you forget when, you know, that, and he may not have been a celebrity to the sense that, oh, you know, he was this national figure, but in the boxing world, he was, he was a guy that had a resource of knowledge that was uh, looked to for, uh, you know, opinions and, and carried weight. And he was a guy with his relationship with B-Hop that really, really um, was a major figure in, you know, the mid nineties and early two thousands out from training Sugar Shane Mosley. Um, and even, you know, it's always strange when you meet these people in real life. Like I got a chance to meet him back in 2011. Um, really good guy just took a picture with me. was really humble. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it sucks when you, you know, you don't know the people, but I, I know JD can speak to this. We've met boxers and, you know, people, you know, behind the scenes and you, you know not everybody would know this some people are assholes and some people are real humble nice uh guys and really and and, and embrace the fans and so Azim Richards was one of those man and he didn't mind talking boxing you know spread, spreading his opinion he was a fair guy uh when he gave his assessment he was an honest guy and so he'll truly be missing the sport of boxing yeah man I, he, he definitely truly will be missing you know, what was special about him, you know, a lot of us kind of really saw, you know, him really get a lot of notoriety, as you said, with, with B-Hop, is the special thing about, you know, a boxing trainer is, and Q, I know you mentioned this um, before um, when we spoke about, when, when people step in there, they know that they're putting their life on the line. So there's a lot of trust you have to have with someone who is training you to step into a ring knowing that, you know, at any given moment, you could die or you could be severely injured. You know, and there's a, a real significant trust you have to have. And I think, you know, kind of just like what Jay said, you know, he's always a humble dude, honest dude. Um, there's something to be said about people who have that heart of giving. And there's a heart of giving that you have to have as a trainer uh, to try to impart knowledge and instill confidence in somebody. And I think um, Nazim Richardson, you know, embodied all of that as a as a boxing trainer, and you know he was a great, you know, he was a great uh, ambassador of the sport, um, you know, on all levels. And again, it's just a reminder too, you know, to you know, you know, pursue your passion, do what you love. Um, you know, he's at the young age of 55, you know, uh, years old. You know, in these days and times, you know, a lot of people consider that to be a young, young to pass away at 55, and you know, rest in peace. You know, our prayers go out to his family, but um, we just want to continue to hope that everybody takes, you know, an example from him, you know, in the sport of boxing and kind of pattern their lifestyle and how they how they carry themselves after him. More definitely. I just want to say real quick, because there's a couple of things that, that brought to Nazim Richardson, man, a couple, of, a couple of his assessments for fights. And one, he, I also want to say, he's the one that, that, that caught Margarita with them fucking gloves. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? With a plaster of Paris. Right. You say, I thought the motherfucker was going to go to jail. I ain't think, I, I was blown away that mm -hmm. they let him fight. I thought they were going to lock his ass up. That, that was funny. And dope that, you know. <laughs> but anyway, the Pacquiao fight, well, Pacquiao fought Shane. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all saw, but they had, it, it was on Showtime or whatever, and it wasn't, it was like that. They had the behind the scenes shit. And I don't know if y'all remember, but man, fucking um, Pacquiao. Shane was in the corner. He was he was telling he was telling Nazim to stop the fight. <laughs> he was like, "Stop the fight, Nazim." He was like, "Stop the fight, man." He was like, "My feet, my shoe hurt, my feet, and this and that, this and that." And Nazim would say, "Bro, no, no, Shane, you're not cut from that cloth, man. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna let you do that." And Shane was like, "You ain't so you ain't gonna listen to me, man." That shit was so funny. Bro. That was like the, bro, that was so funny. That one. And then last, the last thing was hit when when May Pack May Mosley before that fight. He said, his assessment was, he said, 
Shane gonna punch him in the mouth. Mm-hmm. And Mayweather gonna turn into a damn Dra- dragon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember <laughs> he said, that. He said, "What I tell, what I told Shane to do is step on the dragon tail." Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And when I tell you, boy, that shit could have been a better, uh, a, a perfect assessment because he hit that man in the mouth. Everybody went that shit twice. Caught him. When I tell you, Mayweather turned to that damn dragon, and Shane mm-hmm. turned into what he tried to turn into when he fought Pacquiao later. He, he tried to get the fuck up out of there. Like he didn't want no more smoke. Yeah. But anyway. That's it, man. Brother Nazim, man. A legend, a legend. Rest before, in peace. Man. A, a man's Rest man. in power. You feel me? Rest in power, man. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You know, you're going to be up there training the old fighters and into, into their uh, Legends League up there. Up there, You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. They're in heaven. <laughs> legend League in heaven, baby. You up uh-huh. Anyway, all right. Anyway, that, we're going to wrap it up for that one, man. And, you know, peace, peace to Nazim and the family and everybody, man. All the boxing fans that were touched by this. Mm-hmm. Once again, select the notification button, subscribe, and like. Hit the like button, smash the like button. My man got his, my man got insurance policy. He's gonna fix the screen if you smack the, smack yeah. the screen. My brother just got it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> All right.